I Hello, can't everybody. It. Welcome back to Corpse Party Blood Drive. Last episode... What even happened last episode? Ayumi was pregnant, but we uh, we dug it out of the, out of her, and uh, then the Book of Shadows no, 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 got just, stolen just from full her. Full stop. Full stop. Ayumi got pregnant and gave birth to the Book of Shadows. This time, we're finishing up Blood Drive! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is this game? Put, All put right. no context in it. Let's do it. Chapter nine. Let me, uh, let me, I didn't scroll down to that point in the walkthrough yet. Hold on. I need to. Imperator. Okay. Chapter nine. Oh, God. Hmm. Oh, God. You, this, you said this one's last gonna time be... this is a long one, right? Yeah, it looks like a, uh, a not so fun one. Looks like it. Uh-oh. Okay, uh, there, this one's a long one. The walkthrough begins with, this one's a long one, and if you want to accomplish everything in the game, uh, well, I don't give a fuck about name tags. Oh, wow. So apparently there's, what? like, two achievements you can get in this chapter. You can kill every spirit with a talisman, or never use a talisman. Uh, yeah, remember the realization with the talismans? Yeah. Yeah, let's not kill anyone. I don't fucking care. It's me or them, all right? If y'all are gonna charge at me like an angry spirit and you think I'm not gonna defend myself, well, let me load up a freaking minigun with talismans. But you're snapping them in half, dude. Well, they charged at me! Self-defense! <laughs> self I don't know if self-defense works in hell dimensions, though. I don't care if it does. I'm not gonna die. You know, you know it's going to be a good chapter if it starts with Best Girl coming into scene first. What is this? Oh, thanks, Link Tune. How has the school completely changed like this? The Nirvana's encroachment is growing by the moment. We have no idea what's going to happen next. You all need to be on your guard. If we can track down this Sachi, we should be able to figure out where Yuka is too. Right, let's oh, hurry yeah. up. And find her. We'll save you, Yuka. I swear it. Thank you, Shadow. Let's get the piss, baby. All right, there we go. We're playing as our best boy. All right. Now, where do I go? Oh, we got okay. a party of four. Holy crap. Yeah. You know what that means, right? There's probably a lot of bullshit traps somewhere around. Yeah, so let, let's keep a uh, best girl safe, okay? And then okay. second best girl safe. You know, just keep that bottom row safe. How about that? Sure. Okay, we'll start up on the first floor stairwell, second wing. Uh, Talisman 1 is in the northwest corner of the first floor, just south of the stairwell. Uh, that doesn't make much sense. We just seem to get to the basement, dude. Are you... Does it mean over here? Now's not the time to wander. Shut the fuck up. Ah, here we go. Okay. So, there's a phantom nearby. We're gonna need that to protect ourselves. Okay, so I got that talisman. Leave the second wing and head back to the main school. Can do. Main school. Main school. Oh, there, there we go. Okay, who's... Who's whose icon is it, it this it, time? It. Oh. Oh god, it's Hell Hellspawn. Sachi. AKA Hellspawn. I prefer Sachiko, honestly. Yeah, so uh, Sachiko is way better. You know, she's had like three games for us to kinda get used to her. Yeah. I think debatably she's creepier too. Yeah. Okay, Talisman 2 to the west. Of the door you entered in the school, the phantom in the northern part zone hanging around. Okay, head to the northwest corner of the main school. Okay, head to the northwest corner of the main school's first floor. Okay, I think I get it. Oh, I think I know which door it's talking about. Ah. I mentioned how much I like this uh, song. Like, this is like the best song in this game. This one? Yeah, this one is probably the best in the game. I... I think it's okay. Alright, Phantom, just saying, if you die, it's your fault. I am gonna do everything I can to avoid you. 
Preferably, I'd like that achievement where I don't use a single talisman. But if you come near me, well, let's just say your your spine's gonna be like uh, a stick in the. Yeah, I, I warned oh, you. Oh, there he is. I warned you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, that was that was a funny screen. All right, should be perhaps here. Yep. Miss Kuon glanced at the watch on her left wrist. The Looks digits like displayed looking... on it were counting down. Huh. It was also back in the main, in the secondary building, but this works. They've had a lot of bad memories in this area. Something wrong, Yoshiki? Probably. Yes. Ah.ごめんね。心配してきてくれてありがとう。でも、もうここまででいいわ。戻ってあげて。いや。Be with your girl, dude. Okay, he believes in her. Respect. There you go. Mm-hmm. Oh, here we go again with the earthquakes. <laughs><笑> It's Cthulhu down there. Oh, shut up. <laughs> it's beyond human understanding. It's Cthulhu! You sure about that? Because the floor is literally made of guts here. Yeah, and they, they don't know yet, but she lost the Book of Shadows. Oh. She lost her baby. <laughs> Yoshiki is like, ah, oh, she's got this. She meets up with them. Guys, I lost the Book of Shadow. Motherfucking! <laughs> Why do I believe in you? <laughs> nah, yeah. he would just be like, eh, whatever. We'll get it back. Oh, he would be thinking that. Like, on the outside, he's like, it's Yeah, okay. on the outside, he's like, he's got this face right here. He's like, eh, whatever. We can get it back. And on the inside, he's like, are you freaking hey. serious? How weak hey. are you? <laughs> he's like, why do I have feelings for you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we do. 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 Yeah, we I think he's gotten debatably a bit braver as things have gone. Yeah. He's, he's probably figured out like, what else is there to do. It's like, well, I'm stuck here, so might as well try to destroy this thing. Just fight till the bitter end. Right? <laughs> Ew. Stop vomiting people. First few games is all about piss, now it's vomit. Ugh. Hmm? Oh, they're going after the book. Oh, yep. very well then. All right, uh, let's see, where am I? I thought it was going to be a really bad magic trick. It's like, grab onto my shoulder, and then boom, you got the Book of Shadows. <laughs> it's 
It's like how? Good magician never tells their secret. Now let's do let's do this. Hold on, hold on. The the walkthrough is not making any sense. Head to the northwest corner of the main school's first floor, at which point we'll be back on top of the tower again. Yeah, oh. now we're back on the tower. Okay, head back down the stairwell for events. Head to the second floor, the second wing for more events. Pick up a steel. Oh, I remember where the steel axe was. Oh, our boy. boy. We had to go past our boy. Your boy. <laughs> My boy. It, it, it just pains me to see him like that. Is that the steel axe, or is that just the hammer? That's his hammer. I wish oh, we could I... use that. That would be a that would be awesome. It would be a nice little throwback. Yeah. Hey, remember the time you clobbered Yoshiki in the head with this thing, or at least tried to? Uh. Well, at least he can't do any more damage. Right. Part of me is hoping that Inumaru turns out okay. He got darkened. He's good as dead. Mm-hmm. Where well, is that of... simp? We haven't seen him since he appeared. He might pop up. Oh. That reminds me. You know that new uh, shark VTuber? What? There's a new uh, shark English-speaking uh, VTuber. No, I, I have not been aware of this. There's a... Uh, basically, there's a shark uh, VTuber now. They good. speak English. And uh, someone, call, uh, someone called uh, someone a simp for uh, simping over her. And she said, simp? What's a simp? Do you mean shrimp? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, what do I do from here? Uh, then head down to the second floor, the second wing, pick up the steel axe. I need to find the talisman. In the northeast corner of the second floor, the phantom is to the west, though it might start chasing you as you head for the talisman. So be it. Is it Jobu asked, is it bad that I see CJX as a VTuber? How am I a VTuber? I mean, I guess you have like an anime esque uh, profile. That doesn't make me a VTuber. There are male v VTubers, that is correct. Chronological. Oh, you don't need to worry about him. But who's... Hmm? Oh, hello again. Let me guess. You're going to be a bitch and not give us the book. Then again, that would not benefit her at all, so... <laughs> The fuck did she do to you? <laughs> I have... Yeah, what motivation does she have for killing Ayumi here? So come on, I do. Look, Book of Shadows. I'm going to get <gasps> of course. Oh no. I was right. She's not going to give the book back. I tried to grab it, but Magari pulled it away at the last moment as if it's taunting me. But you already said that there's no point in having the book now. We know! Just give us the book! You, you're still alive, so you have an opportunity to have, a, like, character development. So can, can the book, like, bite her or something? It's probably not going to respond to anything, so long as Ayumi's not touching it. Oh, 
私を退屈させない存在がまだ生まれてくるかどうかなほちゃんみたいなねあ、uh, what are you saying you're、oh. waiting for Ayumi to have kids she's waiting for another、uh, like rival like na、uh, Naho oh oh that makes Some, sense someone that can match her So she wants, she's trying to see if Ayumi will gain the same power as Naho. Yeah. Oh, that thing. It's Naho's hair clip. Yeah, we knew about that. Okay. Aiko snatched the hair clip from my hands. Naho chan? Naho chan, k i k o e r u Aiko closed her eyes and put the item next to her ear. But after a few moments of silence, she just, she, blech, she just started to break down. <sighs> yeah, we kind of、uh, evaporated her soul. Yeah. Well, it was her own fault, to be honest. Aww. Aiko's been through a lot this game. Aiko was saying that, right? ナホちゃんみたいな霊能力の強い人の遺留品には魂がこもって話ができる場合があるのんではいどうせあなたにしか使いこなせないんだから今は貸しといてあげるわ乗ったのそれがあなたにもたらすのは、こうか不こうか、わからないけれど。マガリフラッシュミアコードスマイル。この本の生まれた歴史は知っているわよね。ええ、お姉ちゃんが話してくれた。あなたがこれから退治して、その本に封印しなければならないのは。ネファンすなわちブック・オブ・シャドウズのコアその意志それは3年前に起きた集団による迫害殺戮魔女狩りで惨殺された魔女の魂よ悪魔とも通じていたと言われる世を呪う力の強さは計り知れないそんなものとの対峙でしょ気が狂うだけでは済まないわよきっと<笑>けどもあなたが失敗したら涅槃が広がってやっぱりこの世自体が終わることになるし頑張ってコアをその中に戻せるよう祈っててあげる。So, the best we can hope for is us going crazy if we seal the Nirvana. According to her, this is not a good thing. Hmm? You know, that makes sense. なぜ助けてくれるのバカらしくなったのよ。あ、フェア ?OK。え赤い魔術の模様が、後者の至るところに書いてあるでしょあれ、うちの教団の人間が入り込んで、黒魔術を行ってるわ。幹部の私の命令も受けず勝手にねはでみんな何かにやられて死んでたぐっちゃぐちゃになってね高すぎるでしょはあ、huh. So her organization is partly responsible for all this? Yeah partly 何がムカつくってさ私をここの調査に行かせておいて
鉄の調査の連中をよこしてることよ教祖のババアも焼きが回ったわしかも勝手に黒魔術をブーストしてるからサチもネハンもそれに反応して暴走してるおかげでこの世の終わりよ Oh no. Anata ya Sayaka, Naho Chanto, Necha Necha Yatta Honga, Mada Tanoshkotta. Mo Mikiro to Mono, Anna Ksobaka no Shuda. I think that's the first cool thing you've said this entire freaking game. <laughs> I figured that's probably what's going on. Koko de Wakarene. Hey, yo, book. How the fuck do we stop all this crap? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. みんな優しいからついてきたがっちゃ。愛子さんはみんなと合流して脱出して私のことはブックオブシャドウズがあるから大丈夫って言っといていいえ私もついていくわ歩美ちゃんどうしてこれ以上は危ないわ今聞いた
I mean, I, I, after you said it, I get it that it was the darkening. It looked like the darkening thing. Here we go. Do hickey. All right. So now we go to the main building. We. I still have one talisman left, right? Yes. Let you me still have one left. Oh. Of all the Whoa. of all the Seiko lines you could have used, you go with that one. That is Seiko in a nutshell, though. <sighs> it's our girl Seiko. No one was there. Butter up that pooper. Be quiet. It's your girl. <laughs> Sound of someone running. Where my talismans? <laughs> <laughs> Even in death, she's just as horny as ever. <sighs> Where do I go? Um, <laughs> Talisman 5 is in classroom 6A, just south of the... Hmm. Apparently a phantom will spawn if I go after it. Alright, we got one. Uh, Head back. Wait, hold on. What the fuck? Is this all just like extra stuff? Oh wow, okay. Okay, so we do that, then that. Okay, wow, it looks like uh, now that we have done every side mission, our actual goal is the entryway on the first floor. Head there for a scene. Okay. Nice. Apparently there's a scene with uh, Psycho in one of these uh, classrooms, according to 99. Uh, which door? You know, I think He's I know what's staying the left door in the hall. In this? In here? I think so, yeah. Oh, it's this room. Oh. Huh? Oh? Naomi san. Shinohara san. It's our girl. We gotta see our girl, you know. In the hallway nearby, I could hear the sounds of footsteps, accompanied by a strange snapping noise. だ。その場に染み込んだ過去を懐かしそうに再生するだけ。Hmm. She says as she's in the middle of pulsating flesh. So Seiko was able to maintain her good nature. She didn't turn into a vengeful spirit of any kind. Yeah, good for her. Well done, Seiko. She does not get enough credit in these games. She's a G. The repeating sound of the footsteps, unchanged from before, somehow seemed like an answer, and for whatever reason, I found it oddly comforting, like she was my guardian angel. Apparently there's a room with a Ouija board, but Hold he on. doesn't remember. Oh. A tap. I, f I very strongly felt a presence right behind me. I quickly turned heel to catch sight of whoever it may have been, but unsurprisingly, no one was there. Ayumi-chan? Like, Give me that booty. Presence 
perhaps this door? Hold on. Maybe the cut maybe the walkthrough will mention something about this cutscene. Okay. Um Head of I wonder if... I don't know, has 99 said anything else about it? Uh, it doesn't look like it, no. Let me see. Ouija board room, maybe? Ouija board room? I have no idea what that is. Perhaps I can try a few doorways. Oh! Is that it? Oh, that is it. Shinohara-san. Shinohara-san, irun desho? Nani ka hanashitai koto wa aru? Oh! Oh, shit. How is Naomi? Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh, yeah, this isn't heavily host anymore. Oh, that's true. Wow. Tell Naomi I am happy and will move on oh demo kono kousha kara wa it is a lie. It is a lie, but tell. Oh. Oh. No. God sake, oh, I wish there were people with like him. I really wish there were more people with your heart in the world. The living need to move on more. Same for you, Ayumi. Please take care. Ayumi-chan. <laughs> Oh. 
Seiko. Let's do this for Seiko. <laughs> all right. It's time to destroy this damned place once and for all. I'm glad we found that, you know? Yeah. Alright, I think this is where we go. What? Holy crap! How did... We're in the apartment. The apartment where all this crap started. Yeah. It's Makina Shinozuki's room. But we were just in the school. You are in the school. The Nirvana is a melting pot for the thoughts and the feelings of many different kinds of people. And when the connections among closed spaces get twisted, these sorts of things do happen. Put simply, you can think of it like a kind of spirit barrier. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Okay, apparently there's like a candle. Uh, hang on, let me, let me double check that. So this is basically the the labyrinth in uh, subspace emissary. <laughs> okay, head east, south, then west. Okay, east. Ew, organs everywhere. South. Yeah, it's it's. Oh. Oh, there's. Hey, buddy. Uh, stomach splayed open and body stabbed repeatedly by living anatomical model. Oh, fun. Kibi Key is still having fun, it seems. Good Keys of me? Keys of me. I get them mixed up. Rapido. Keys of me. Rapido. Keys, Keys of me. me. Keys of me, Rapido. <sighs> run, Rapido, run! He doesn't even say Rapido, he says Rabbit. He says, run, rabbit, run! <laughs> it always sounds like he has a rabbit with the second run. That's why I say rabbit -o. Okay, head west for a scene. Oh. Oh, lovely. Cool. Uh, a king, a knight, and a peasant. It's a picture of three hanging corpses from left to right. They appear to be a king, a soldier, and a commoner. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. What? I, I I named all three of them what they were. Just like that. <laughs> I feel special. <laughs> Let me have this. It's a head. What's a head? The core? Yeah. Ah, oh, of course. Kick it down. Have you ever kicked down a door before? Uh, no, I cannot say I have. It's a it's a weird experience. I can imagine it's not as easy as the movies make it out to be. No, it's actually really hard, but if you know where to hit it with enough force, you can break it open. Interesting. I can think of a I can think of where you would hit it. Yeah, right where like right where you expect to hit it. Like right by the doorknob. Yeah. So let's search somewhere else and see if we can find Okay, so let's see. There is a shiny. Okay. Oh, another axe. Yeah, apparently we need to pick up the axe. A picture of the, yeah, yeah, neat. Beware, Ayumi has two axes now. Apparently there's a bad end if you go into that hole. Is there a candle in here? Uh, there's a candle right outside the door. Okay, um... I think... Okay, I picked up the steel axe on the floor along the way, leave the room, and take the south exit to repair... Wait, what? Leave the room. Okay, I guess I go in here? Okay, um... We're supposed to leave and then come back? Okay, it says, uh, uh... 
pick up the steel axe on the floor along the north wall, leave the room, then take the south exit to, re to Oh, outside the apartment. So oh. uh, go out, you know how there's three uh, exits in the next room over? Right. So down here. That didn't work. <laughs> That's just messing with your mind Wait. right now. Oh, return to the second floor. Wait, what? Return to the second floor. It's... Can you imagine how much of a mindfuck this would be if this was real? Like you open the door and then all of a sudden you're in like your uh, like you're open the door to the kitchen, for example. I think I'd actually tell. School. I think I'd actually tell the place to go fuck itself and hope <laughs> it can actually hear me. <laughs> All right, which way do I go? This way? No, I think it's. Ah, uh, fuck it. This way. It did say go up the stairs, right? Uh, it said something. Okay, it, it just says floor. go to the second floor, then open the first door to your left to enter 1C. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see real quick if this is 1C. What? This doesn't make any oh, sense. Oh, that must be 1C, right there. No. What? This doesn't make any fucking sense. Where do I go? Great, now the game's a where the fuck do I go game. <laughs> Return to... Does it mean... Oh, it means the main building. Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Could it not have specified that? Okay, so we need to get to 1C. If I remember correctly... Fastest way would be the stairs right below us. Huh? Oh, that must be a 1C right there. Right below us. No, this is 1A. Never oh, mind, it's God. 1C! Oh, it's... The king, the soldier, and the, the commoner. There were three corpses in the room, all hanging. The left corpse seemed to have de been dead for quite some time, and it's just begun rotting. The middle corpse seems to have just died. The one is already a skeleton. Beneath the three unfortunate souls had something s scratched into the floor. 23, 09, 14, 05... No, B-L-E-L-O-T. Some kind of cipher, perhaps? Okay, let's see. What do we do here? Uh... The correct answer is to cut... Okay. Cut them down? Yeah. Apparently, the correct answer is to cut down the right and center. So, cut down everybody that's not the king. Mm hmm. Which unlocks the door from earlier? Oh god, how do I get back there? There's supposed to be a book to give you a hint. That's how you figure out what's going on here, apparently. A book? Yeah, there's uh, probably a book in that room. Huh. Well, we don't need it now, because I got walkthrough. So fuck off, game. Probably had something to do with, like, eat the rich or something. Oh. Like, I'm not sick of hearing that bullshit.
What? Oh, we had to go the long way. Actually, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm not... Actually, go fuck yourself, game. Can you imagine how long it would take to do this without a walkthrough? You're doing this blind? <laughs> you would be here for days. Okay, we saved. I wonder if that painting is... Nope, it's the same. So, who was on here again? There was a commoner, a soldier, and a king, right? Yep. Okay. Uh... Oh, there we go. Yuka's probably dead. Oh! Well, that's not Yuka. Someone just recently died, too. This place is like wood and not flesh. That's interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and, uh, this dude's got no legs. Unknown. Everything from the abdomen down is missing. Oh, he's part of the Illuminati. Oh. Blood out from stab wound in abdomen region. Endured septic shock. Oh. Septic shock? Uh, when you're in the things that are supposed to be, like, in your stomach go out into your body. Oh. Yeah. Probably one of the worst ways to go. Oh. <laughs> At least that's what I think it is. Let me just double check. Succumb to shock and blood out quickly following complete bisection. Jesus. Blood out from removal of eyes via knife. Oh boy. Yoshiki, uh, give me strength. Okay, so I was a little uh, wrong. It's a severe localization or system-wide infection. Basically, organ failure and low blood pressure. Oh, Basically, thing. your your organs just die one by one. Oh, that's awful. Yeah. Okay. Um... Apparently, let's see. The, okay, so I did that. Head down from the scene. Head through the door to the north. Wait, what? Oh! Oh! That's more the Illuminati heads. Wonderful. Beyond the red door, we found ourselves in a large open space. Okay, this meme time. Meme time. What? Going to Chick Fil A, finding out it's Sunday, and asking them to open up. <laughs> Look at their faces; they're all pissed. <laughs> there, there's a meme in here somewhere. I just can't find it. Yeah, we'll have to. <laughs> we'll have to come back to that concept. The smell of blood and antiseptic immediately struck our noses with incredible force. So thick that it almost felt like we were stepping in a viscous liquid environment. This certainly wasn't the underground bomb shelter we were expecting. Rather, it was more or less a torture chamber. A labyrinth of terrifying pain devices and prison cells. The walls were, spot the walls were spotted liberally with dark blood stains, and the general feel of the room was absolutely horrific in every conceivable way. <laughs> oh. Have 
I mention I love the sound in this game? Yes. <laughs> oh, not this again. It's these guys. Sounds of deep, all-encompassing all sorrow and rage echoed from every corner of this massive space. Some of the screams and moans of sadistic pleasure seem to be coming from right next to us, though. The though the room was quite dark and there were no visible presences around us. It really did sound like people were being tortured right where we stood, though. Just crossing the threshold into the room was mentally taxing, beyond anything I'd ever experienced before. It was downright painful, in fact, instantly bringing tears into my eyes. <laughs> Uh-oh. Maybe we shouldn't have screamed. <laughs> Let them know we're here. From the darkness came the sound of a metal wheel or gear turning. <laughs> Satoshi shone his light in the general direction from which the sound seemed to originate. But the only thing there was was a rack. As in, the torture device designed to stretch and tear a person's body. Jesus Christ. Yeah, medieval times were rough. They did but... not fuck around. Mm -hmm. It was a highly disturbing sight, but fortunately no one was tied to it. We all let out a collective sigh of relief. Despite being empty, however, the torture implement began spinning in place. Huh? Blood was flying everywhere. <laughs> no. <laughs> Apparently, according to 99, this place is pretty straightforward. The only objective is not die. <laughs> and how do I do that? Oh, like, let's see. Head north to see it. Oh, I, 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 excuse me? Oh, I want to check the a name tag. Wow, there's name tags here. Tortured and decapitated. Tortured and decapitated. Tortured and decapitated. That's a giant blade. Oh, that's a. Oh my god! Holy crap! That's what he means. Oh, I fuck off. Oh, hey! Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just like. I, I don't trust myself. <laughs> Bro, fuck this. Fuck this with a rake. Are you going to get that uh, tag? No! <laughs> oh, there's something in there I bet we need. Yeah, probably. Doesn't look too bad. Oh. 
Okay. There you go. It's just timing. What? Whoa, what? How? Oh, no. You are... I'm pretty sure that is something we need, though. Yeah, why would it not be in the most dangerous place ever? <gasps> okay, so... E Go fuck you! Okay, I'll be right back. Just keep, uh, just keep on keeping on. I believe in you. <sighs> All right. Oh, you've got to be... You can go into the far corner and it still fucking kills you. <laughs> Alright, that worked. Okay, so... Okay, that worked. A dark... Crystal. Alright, you got it? Yep! Yeah. Oh, what God. was it? A dark crystal. Oh, okay. That sounds important. I wonder if I can show you. Yeah, that thing. A crystal Ooh. that shines with an unholy light. Okay, uh. Spooky. Uh, for reference, one hit equals death. Yeah, I figured that out from past the blade. We figured that at first hand. <laughs> Uh, yeah, your best pet is the DAD. I figured it out. Repeat the same process to get out. Oh, there's a talisman here. To the north. Wait, hold on. To the north of. In here? Sweetness. Uh, we got a talisman? Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, <laughs> looks like we'll be... <laughs> might be needing it. Okay, um... We got that right about now. You probably want to save your game, so head south and enter the... Head south. Oh, there's a save point in here? What that miss? Oh, it, this is this well, is where he was line. being a fucking retard. A light crystal, okay. That's when he was enjoying the simpler things in life, and we were I was laughing like an idiot for absolutely no reason. Yeah, you tend to do that sometimes. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> but don't worry, we love you anyway. Right I don't about know. Something about it was funny. <laughs> why am I playing I as freaking why. Satoshi? I want to play as Yoshiki. Okay, right about I now, you, you were... should probably save your game. I did that. In the upper right cell, you'll find a body with a name tag. I don't care. Walk into the... F you need to walk clockwise around the central hub to claim the den key nearby. Yeah, apparently we can't touch that, touch that mist. Well, what's down here? Probably more uh, tags. Yeah. All right, then let's head back up. Can I get your name tag? Yeah, whatever. Oh, oh, I see what we need. Phantom, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you right now, you don't want to touch me, dude. I'm warning you, don't touch me. Okay, uh -huh. so we got the den key. Uh, then save, because we'll have to go back through the blades. Oh, lovely. Fuck off. Oh, I, I warned you not to... I warned you! <laughs> <sighs> we warned you, friend. And what'd you do? You decided to want to touch us.
Okay. All right, where am I going, game? Okay. Two pedestals. A door near the entranceway. All right, fine. That was close. Yeah. Oh, this door must be. Aha! I didn't even know there was a door right there. Two pedestals. All right, is, oh, do, do they light have to be specific? Crystal. Uh, okay. Hold on, wait. Hold on. Which which pedestal gets which crystal? Uh, you'll have to and two pedestals which you need. I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, then we'll place the light crystal here. Okay. The dark crystal goes here. Oh, I'm preventing you from... Alright, so now, let's see. Probably just leave the room. Okay, the black fog should be gone. But now I gotta go through the friggin... Blades again. They're getting mileage from these blades. Annoyingly. I wonder if I could make it if I... Huh. <sighs> okay. There you go. You know what? Just in case, I don't want to go through the blades again. Oh, the mist is gone too. Well, in that case, let me go check something real fast. I saw some of that mist down here. Yeah, that's true. Oh, the mist was the white crystal energy, probably, is what the white crystal took care of. Is this not a... I see a red I... sheet just vaguely. Hmm. It's kind of hard to see, but... I guess this doesn't go anywhere? Not yet, probably. Oh, damn, that person's got their head smashed in. Oh. That gate has another has another that... thing on its side. Oh, that's a crowbar in there. Oh, yeah. my God, the crowbar's in someone's skull. Yeah, Morgan Freeman had his way with that guy. No, not Morgan Freeman. Uh, who's, who's the guy for, from uh, Half-Life? Uh, uh, no. Dr. Freeman? Dr. Freeman, that's it. Dr. Freeman has way with that guy. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so we go this way? Hey! Hey! She's having fun. We have fun here. What? <laughs> Satoshi flashed his light in the direction Kishinima had in indicated, but there was simply nothing there. Boy. Guys, we probably should not go into the door that opened on its own. Oh, ここでは何が起こっておかしくないうん。さとし、気をつけて。あ。なんだろう。よし。おい、おい。お前一人で行く機会を。みんなで行って危険な目に遭うよりはマシだろ。それまあ、そうだけど。how about you just poke your head in? And then one of the pendulum blades comes right down and globs off his head. Oh. Satoshi really wants to save his sister. Huh? Hey, Yuka! Huh? She's just there! 
She's just vibing. <laughs> Oi, no. I don't this doesn't bode well. No. You go. You go. What did I? Shikaisiro. Oi. You know what? For the first time the chibi just being just smiling actually makes this creepier. Yeah, for once. It was almost as if she'd forgotten how to speak. Something was clearly very wrong. Satoshi crouched down so Yuka could ride him piggyback, but she simply wouldn't budge. Satoshi, Shagandro. Sewerga. Yuka, Shikari Shiro. Okay, that's kind of cute. Oh, okay. Uh, what do we do now? Uh, okay, so I went through there. Okay, so apparently we go back out here. Well, that's not good. Uh, doing, the place just changed. Oh! Oh snap! Screw you! Uh-uh! <laughs> Nine Nine says, just try not to die. Oi, 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 oi! Uh... Oh! Oh! I... I go... No! Fuck you! Are oh, you no. serious? <laughs> I got stuck in like two seconds. Screw you! <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck you. You gotta memorize oh. where to go. You gotta fucking memorize where to go. I hate this shit. <laughs> hey, at least we're uh, taking out some of the wrong endings. Has anything new happened in chat recently? Uh, no. Actually, uh, Al Alistair A it just followed. He's saying hello. Oh, new follower? Uh-huh, new follower. And they're saying hello. Oh, cool. Hi there. Welcome! Okay, so you do this, 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 and this, and this, and this, and then you go this go way. Left. There you go. Oh. You died right at the end. <laughs> okay, well, they're like, all right, well, we know this trap is bullshit, so let's just not make them do too much of it. Oh, okay. What? Okay, it gives us a fraction of a second gameplay more. I don't think I want to stick around long enough to find out. There's a hole right there. Go in the hole. <laughs> it's hard to go in the hole. A tremendous wave of anxiety washed over all four of us. 
As we were trying to figure out what to do, next I found myself tripping over a sharp stone by my foot. It was in the shape of an arrow. Okay, we're taking a rock. Satoshi, I'm going to take a rock. Let's go back. That's it! Ah, a hole. You're going to take a look at it. I'm going to take a look at it. I'm going to take a look at it. We'll just have to lock our hands together and boost you up. You're wearing a skirt, so I know this is going to take some convincing, but seriously, we're in a life and death situation. If if that's if that's where this is about to go, I'm really not going to have it. <laughs> Everybody in the hole right now! <laughs> <laughs> Get in the hole! <laughs> Satoshi was scared stiff by the sudden voice right behind his ear. Oh no. I thought it was Yuka for a second. I thought so too. Could it be Yuka? He flashed his light, but there was no one to be seen. Oh, she about to get a vision? Nami, Daishoka. Gaze into the future, future, future. Naniko, Miyatekita. Nani, Kore. Hontoka, Nani ga miere. Sanaka. Oh, no. Oh, this is great. Oh, this is going to be good. This is bad. Satoshi no. Sanaka. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes! No! Oh, that is Oh my great. god, fuck off! Yes! <gasps> Yuka's eyes went completely black as she latched her on all her weight as she latched all her weight onto Satoshi. Her face was no longer her own, but that of Sachi. Satoshi! Yuka Oh, that is awesome! <laughs> Is she choking him? Oh, boy. Oh. Can I put that as a vote for the thumbnail? Wheeze? Huh? There's two of them? Kimi wa. Oh, no. Maybe Sachi left. Le left Yuka. Oh. We know. Black-eyed Yuka began to speak while clinging uncomfortably onto Satoshi's back. That happened to my twin. Apparently I was supposed to be a twin. No kidding. Yeah. So wow. there's a little Sachi version of uh, me out there. Uh, I don't want to go to Momocon with you anymore. <laughs> But did you like actually absorb your twin? I guess so. Like my uh, mom, she went to uh, get the like the the scans to kind of check up on me as a baby, and there was an empty womb right next to mine. That's strange. It huh. is weird. It apparently it happened. It happens from time to time, but it was kind of at the point where it was like, like it wasn't like a miscarriage or anything like that. It just was like the baby just disappeared. Well, then I think it, I think that would be a miscarriage, and that you absorbed your twin. I guess so. That sucks to be you.
Yeah, it really sucks to be you, but uh, this is not Yuka's problem, so please get out of her. <laughs> Look, I was supposed to have two other siblings besides my sister, all right? But, uh, if they turned out like you, I would have no problem banishing them to the afterlife. You could have gone straight up to heaven, where there you don't need to be out in that world. So is that what she was doing? She was looking for a body, but... I think she's... Could she be the core? No, I think what, no, because I she's, think what she's talking about was when she was in the real world. She was looking for a body, and I think people who were doing the Sachiko Ever After charm probably, you know, damaged their own spirits a little bit. Mm -hmm. So she was trying to use the bodies of those who performed the charm, like those three high school girls. Yeah. But she couldn't find a vessel that could hold her, and the their spines ended up snapping. Yeah, she just is too much evil to be contained. What the fu- Dog! Are we sure that's not just regular Yuka? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sick of this. Remember, I think it was Matoshi, the guy that just died. The bastard guy with the parka. He, Mitsuo? He was Mitsuo, that's it. They were trying to... Uh, he used Yuka to get the... That the book. He was pillar. using her to create some the Yeah, book. that's true. I'm trying to figure out how this all fits in. Huh. She's just kind of a a extra element really. So yeah, she she's, really doesn't have that big of a, a impact. While the possessed Yuka was speaking all this from his back, Satoshi carefully and discreetly Poked Miss Kuon in the side to get her attention. Why do you have those? I think oh, Ayumi gave him? I, maybe, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I think that did happen. They were the teeth he'd taken from the class rep earlier. He didn't speak these words with his mouth, but rather with his eyes. Unfortunately for him, Sachi seemed to have caught on. Oh no. Oh boy. Okay, something just cracked. She began strangling Satoshi. <laughs> Miss Kuon's just like, good. <laughs> Look at her cheeky, just good. <laughs> Miss Kuon, do you have any extra holy water or something? Nah. And just like that, she stopped, or rather, the spiritual aspect of her vanished from our sight. She can't be reasoned with, like, Sachiko. Yukata! 
So Yuka's still able to fight back a bit. It looks like it. I don't care. This is going on way too long. <laughs> Cackle. Uh, Job lock. Okay. from I clutched my left eye and collapsed the ground ah! it worked oh. Sachi's hurting this was accompanied by a sudden bloody splash from Sachi's left eye as well uh ascended by her all black eyeball falling from its socket to the ground oh <laughs> Satoshi's so throat... Sachi's eye. It was in Naomi. Well, not quite. I think I think a piece of her spirit might have been in Naomi's eye. Mm -hmm. Satoshi's throat rang and rattled as he quickly inhaled as much air as his lungs could take. <laughs> Oh, hey, panty shot. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> my body twitched, and I continued holding my eye with one hand. The other hand bore the arrow I used, now coated in blood and viscera. <laughs> it worked for Ayumi! I figured I could get a shot. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. She held her own neck in her hands as her body writhed and convulsed. Her eyes had rolled back into her head, giving her an almost supernatural or possibly subhuman appearance. Yuka! Dame! Kishinemaku! Yuka chan no karada o osaete! Wakata! Kishinema immediately pinned her arms, doing the best to keep her still. Ms. Kuon then stuffed a hand towel in her mouth. <laughs> Oh, Sachi's pissed. She's like, I'm not taking that, but I'm not losing that body without a fight. Exactly. She's fighting <laughs> hard oh, for this. Oh, uh oh, oh. Oh, snap. Suddenly, Sachi appeared next to Miss Kuon, grabbed the Ever After Stones before anyone knew what was happening. Oh, no, she <laughs> broke them. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> she bitch slapped the spear. She bitch slapped Sachi. <laughs> Yes! I thought I heard a cracking sound, though. D are the stones okay? I don't know. <laughs> Yuka died. <laughs> oh, happy days!
Sachi and Yuko dead. <laughs> the piss fetish is now dead. <laughs> Crab rave. Sachi was gone as well, and a stillness descended upon the entire room. <laughs> okay, but for real, is, is Yuko okay? I, I don't know. Comfort your woman, Satoshi. And I don't mean Yuka! Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, my eye was creeping me out a little bit, so, you know, I just, I, I just kind of stabbed it. Just normal things. <laughs> Hey, you know what? I think that technically makes you guys even, right? He saved your life, you saved his. Yeah. Miss Kuon opened my eyelid and started intent, stared intently at my in injured eye. This was not a comfortable thing for her to do. That's gotta hurt. Mm-hmm. I think that can be fixed. That's good. Good. You got another eye patch? Hey, the wall just lowered. You know what? Sure. <laughs> Why not? We deserve something good to have happen to us for once. Yuka looks dead. Like, seriously. I mean, I know she's moving, but... Her head is almost, like, completely turned around. Naomi,辛いだろうけど、行けるか。何も悪くないこの子たちがどうしてここまで傷つかなきゃいけないの。Ms. Kuon surveyed the room with a general look of deep concern on her face. Will you, you screw <laughs> off? You ready for round three? We all fixed our gazes on Sachi, who stood before us, cradling her eye. Just, can you just get rid of her, please? Oh, the teeth. The teeth. Oh, whoa. Okay, that's impressive. She's really freaking strong. Yeah. Sensei, you're so Did, she, Did she just blow it away? What? She ate the thief! Damn, girl's cray cray. What is she? What are you planning to do? How about we just tell her to go to the next life? She didn't like this. We're lying, of course. You're never going to be born. Huh? Sachi disappeared and a stillness descended upon the room once more. What did you do? Are you pregnant with Sachi now? She's pregnant with Sachi. 
Well, we're off to the abortion clinic. She saw that one of her students got pregnant. Thought, you know what? That sounds fun. Let me do it as well. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Miss Cool and looked down at her wristwatch as if for emphasis. Seconds on it were still steadily counting down, just having dipped below 3,600. Sachi Shinozuki. I don't care about any of this. I take it the next child that uh, she huh? has will be... The next child she'll have is going to be Sachi. Will be Sachi's spirit. I... That, that's hope. my assumption. Okay, well, there's no evidence that she's pregnant, alright? Let's... Yeah. She took her essence and her spirit inside of her, so now the next child that she will have will be Sachi's spirit. That Sachi... or that or she's just going to expel the spirit once she gets the chance. She oh, yeah, said she true. trapped her inside of her, so that could mean a number of things. Yeah, I'm starting to think this is worse than birthday bash. I can see where you're coming from, honestly. Let's see the final chapter, and then we can put all of our, uh, we, we can, we can right, rank me, them. Where's the walkthrough? Okay. Chapter 10 is reparations. Okay. All right. All right. I, I can, I can do this, I think. Hmm. So Kuon just kind of ate the teeth. And then try to pretend like uh, she was Sachi's mother. I think Sachi did that. She mistaked Sachi, or Sachi mistaked her for her mother or something. Hmm. Probably, she could have, like, cool. Oh, you know what it could have been? What's that? When she ate the teeth, it possibly could have been, like, you know, a piece of Sachi that was now inside her. So it could have been sense. easy for Sachi to mistake her as, like, a maternal figure. Mm hmm. That makes sense. Oh, we're back here. Aiko and I had progressed through Heavenly Host, guided by the whims of the Book of Shadows, the school changing and shifting around us bit by bit. We were now faced with a peculiar mark on the door, or marked door. Oh, cool, we're playing as Aiko. I don't want to do that, though. <laughs> All right, Aiko's we... been through enough already. Oh! Oh, nice, we're back in the par apartment complex. It's way too quiet right now. Maybe I should take this opportunity to ask a few questions. Kuo先生は、あなたのお姉さんだったの。ねえ、コウ先生のことを教えて。どういう人なの? 文学界だけでなく、<笑><笑> Yuakeva 
両親は子育ても働くのも放棄して姉のお金で海外で遊び回っていて帰ってこないしね。Oh, wow. Wow. That's messed up. そうなんだ。愛子さんはお姉さんのこと好きなの She probably Love is a strong word. She probably blames her sister for that. Po possibly. Oh. Yeah. Yeah.Yeah.Yeah.Yeah.Yeah.Yeah.Yeah.Yeah.Yeah.Yeah.Yeah.Yeah.Yeah.Yeah.Yeah.Yeah.Yeah.Yeah.Yeah.Yeah.
姉にはない力を持っていることに興奮して体が震えたわこれは私が見つけた力私だけの世界レーグオークションでの売り上げは具体的な数値となって私を高揚させた So that's why she's so just motivated with this stuff. Why she doesn't care what anyone does with these items. Because it's hers. This is her purpose. A purpose that she never had her entire life. Dang. I think Aiko might have the best developed character in this game. Yes. Like, holy crap, this is awesome. Well, I'm not going to call it awesome, but it's definitely interesting. Safi is not adding up with Kuban. What would that be? I don't know. Just like all these different things. Like she just said that, uh, like all these things that she's good at, and then all of a sudden her company got into this. Something like her does, company. Something is off in that regard. I think you're right. Oh, Shadow gave us a diamond. Name、Ooh. of the first corpse party you played? Uh, Corpse Party. Cor corpse Party the first.、Pretty、I haven't played、much. any of them. I haven't played any of them. I just kind of watched. Well, you, you <laughs> I've, I've watched like the leech that I am. <laughs> we, we can say for the sake of purpose, you know、uh, you know everything about the first game. Yes. Well, not everything. There's a ton of bad, there's a ton of bad endings we didn't get. That's true. That's true. I actually found out recently there's like a, an extra bad ending in the fifth chapter where like Yuka dies, but she confesses that she likes her brother in that way before dying. Oh my gosh. So. It's like the bad endings are like the way you find out more and more about the characters. That's, that's an interesting take. But I kind of feel as if the bad ending should be like non canon.、Really. Well, they are. That's the thing. Well, that was the case until Birthday Bash came along. Hmm. You starting to see why I don't like that game? I don't know. I, I, find, I, find, I find enjoyment in it in a totally different way. The only corpse party worth playing is the first one. Yeah, the Steam version of the first game is trash. Don't, don't get it. Don't, don't go for it. Okay, um. Let's check what the icon is for this one. Let's see. It's Kuon. Oh, it's Kuon. Alright.、Hmm. I think there was something about, like, an extra scene. Okay, he hold on. Uh, head northwest corner, tie into the courtyard. There's a loose board directly to the north. Here? Okay, guess we're not going that way. Nope. How about no? Nope. Hold on. Great, now it's gonna. Okay. Wait. Starting the chapter loads. In with a single paragraph before you're in control. Though before heading out the door, head to the northwest corner and go into the hole in the wall. Oh, okay. So it, it actually wants me to go this way. Can't go that way. Got to gotta go around this way. In here. See, most people would probably die to the bad ending there. And then not and they would, go And、back. they wouldn't want to go in there. So, like. This is like false leads between chapters. Mm hmm. This is like, this is an example of artificially extending gameplay, and I hate that shit. 
Okay, so I got the loose board. Uh, directly north of the entrance. Leave here and then head to the through the door. Okay, got that scene. Oh god, careful, don't walk in the flesh. Okay, uh... There's a, another hidden name tag in this level, but getting this one takes a bit less of a hassle. Oh, examine the mailboxes. Oh, sweet! Oh, there was something in the mailbox? Yeah, there was a talisman. Oh, nice. Uh... Okay, head south. And then west. Oh wait, they yo! Look like bodies. There's fucking human ear and human. That's oh, there's an eyeball. Eye. Oh my shit. gosh! Yo, what the fuck? That th oh, yo. This is getting weird. This is disgusting. Oh, this is getting grotesque. This is. Ugh. All right, this is getting too much. I mean, this is the next uh, progression with the flesh. Probably. That? It has awoken. I just realized, is that eyeball waifu from the first game? No. <laughs> what the? <gasps> Eat tomorrow? Yo. We gotta, we gotta investigate real fast. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have come up here. There's Simp. Oh, oh God. no! Inumaru had be been completely overtaken by the darkening, his hatred transforming him into a feral beast. His mouth was now slit on both ends, giving him a disturbing, almost fox-like appearance. With speed and precision, he belined right for Aiko's neck and bit dip deeply into it, with obvious intent to kill. up to the two figures, where I found one seemingly trying to eat the other. I brandished the book of shadows in front of me, like a shield, attempting to intimidate the attacker.
Sayaka? What? What is this? Where do you buy the game? Buy it for the 3DS. Sayaka! <gasps> Out of the blue, a girl I'd never seen before now stood in the creature's path. She was wearing a uniquely designed green pins in her hair. Looking more closely, her body had a slight sheen to it and was partly translucent. <laughs> The rampaging Inamaru showed no signs of having comprehended Sayaka's words. <laughs> now she seemed to have gotten through to him. He stopped biting down on Aiko, releasing his grip ever so slightly. Saika's tone had a slight waver to it, belying her harshness. But her berating of Inumaru was working. His eyes were beginning to well up with tears. It worked. Wow. He was full on bawling now, and nothing seemed like it could show his slow his tears. was less wow. reassuring him and more commanding him. Inamaru released Aiko from his mouth entirely and became very quiet. What the? Is he dead now? Did he just turn into a spirit? Yeah. Wow. So he's dead. Yeah. Aiko's face was glazed over with tears as Inamaru's. Or Aiko's face was as glazed over with tears as Inamaru's. She nodded, unable to even raise her head. Simp has moved on. I'm so happy for him. My people need me. With one final soft, serene flash of light, Saika and Inamaru both disappeared into the air and were gone from sight. Bye, Simp. Simp is dead. Simp is dead. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one final F in the chat for Inumaru. F in the chat for the greatest simp of all time. Truly a, he a will king be. among the simps in a good way. <laughs> the king of simps. Rip. Rest in peace. King of simps. All right, anyway, back to the walkthrough. 
Okay, let's see. Once you're back in the hall, head west for a scene. Okay. There will be a ne never be another simp like him. Exactly. No one can ever be that big of a simp, but also be that likable. I think we'll. It'll be hard to ever find a likable simp ever again. Exactly. Sounds of a monstrous explosion rang out, accompanied by a violent quake that rocked the very foundation of the school. <laughs> This earthquake had triggered an unfortunate side effect. What? The hole connecting to the underground passage had been completely sealed off. This meant mo that Mochita and the others would have no choice but to find another way out. Where are we? Which part of Heavenly Host is this? That's not very good. That's a very good question. Maybe it would be best if we stopped trying to put everything in context of the old Heavenly Host. Either way, the only choice we got is to climb these stairs. So let's get moving. I do agree with what uh, Nine Nine is saying. What is he saying? Uh, Psycho meant like Inamaru and Aiko could have gotten together if he wasn't so obsessed with uh, Seika. With Seika. Uh, possibly. I don't. <laughs> I can't say for certain because I don't know how much Seika or Aiko was into him right right okay so we head up these stairs oh you look like you've had a bad day unknown various parts of body appear to have been eaten oh lovely oh god do you think Inamaru did that okay Maybe. um okay head west apparently we managed to escape through the hole before it collapsed and wed our way through numerous passages, finally arriving at the base of the enormous bell tower. As soon as we got there, however, there was another huge explosion. The whole school rocked beneath our feet. I was certain the class rep and Aiko must have felt these blasts as well. And we could only hope beyond and we can only hope beyond hope that they were both all right. Monstrous explosions continued to echo through the bell tower repeatedly, and violent tremors shook us again and again, seemingly without end. <laughs> the Sephiroth of knowledge was indeed lit up, spewing its dis disquieting green flames every which way. Hell yeah! <laughs> I'm manly! <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! What the fuck? What the fuck? Do you eat? I, I thought this would be more romantic! <laughs> Oh, let, let's let's pay respects to Yoshi Cosby again. Sure, why not? Where's Yuka? Ah, uh, who cares? Nah, eh, no one cares. Okay, so head out. Wait. Okay, there's a door apparently up here. Hmm. Well, that makes sense. Everything's kind of shifting all over the place. I'll have to. I might be misunderstanding. Let's keep trying, though. So, Naomi, this has been a pretty crazy day, huh? Oh, hi! The Sephiroth of knowledge wasn't the only thing to be found at the top of the tower. There, waiting for us on the landing, was Magari Mizuki holding Satsuki Mizuharu by the neck. What? She let go of Satsuki, who tumbled to the ground like a rag doll. <laughs> so she's actually still alive? Yeah. She wasn't turned into some kind of demon? No. 
She's part of the Illuminati, though. She's probably like a Illuminati pet or something. This is not good. Not good at all. Oh boy. Oh. Magari, Magari flashed a bitter smile and showed off rubble that was once a pair of Ever After Stones. She seemed almost proud of what she'd been through. Miss Kuon then produced her custom-made PL promotion stones, which had also seen better. Di she did crush them. Oh. So I did hear that. I did hear a cracking mm -hmm. sound. They were full of cracks, with a strange blue gas seeping out of her here and there. You only got. That way, we only got one way out. <laughs> they only got one use. And that would be the Book of Shadows. Yep. But will it, like, but will it let Ayumi take them with her? I bet Waldo is super worried. Oh, about her you. butler. Waldo is the best character. He's worried sick for you. Magari scratched her head and looked for all the world like she re resigned herself to her fate. It was a sight entirely unlike her. There wasn't anything we could do at this point but stand there and helplessly watch the pillar pulsate, knowing that it could blow at any moment. And it was then we all resigned ourselves to our fates, as Magari had. That Miss Ku that Miss Kuon suddenly looked down at her wristwatch and spoke. Satoshi -kun. Hi. Kimi no sekai ni ita watashi wa ii sensei datta. Oh. She means the world where Miss Yui was from. Yes. Nakashima san ga itte takke. Tashika Yui sensei. Hi. Oh, she, she thinks there's like a spiritual connection between her and Miss Yui. Maybe. Kimi no sekai te. Nande sono koto shitten da yo? You're kidding me. You knew the whole time? Maybe she knew something was up because of their auras. Didn't know exactly what was going on. But I was still straddling Satoshi's back and could barely form a coherent sentence, but I somehow knew if I were ever to say it, then that would be the time. Wait, hold on a sec. I just, I just thought of something. The, the, the clock she was wearing had three thousand six hundred seconds left on it, right? Yes. How long is that? It, That's like, maybe a few hours, right? I think so. 
Nine Nine is saying uh, the wisp, the watch started counting down when Satoshi rejected her. Three, what really? Yeah. Huh. Three thousand six hundred. I think that's five hours. That's math off the top of my head, so don't quote uh, me. Three thousand six hundred. Five or six hours. Seconds. Two hours. It's that's two one hours? hour. It's one hour. Wait, it's just one hour. One hour. Well, my math was way off. I'm not good at doing math without paper. Yeah. Math, math in your head is terrible. Okay, so what happens in one hour? I don't know. Maybe like the death of the universe? <laughs> she has regrets? そう思うのね。計算の技能が早いのと、いろんな知識が豊富だったのは単に私が異常な脳をしているだけよ。天才とかそんなのじゃない。こんな寿命まで見えてしまう人生にあなたは魅力を感じる。What? Is that what that watch was? It was a death watch? There's certainly nothing genius about it. Are you so fascinated for... What? Miss Kuhn turned her wristwatch so everyone could see. It's a death watch! Wow. The counter displayed the number 300. She has five minutes to live. Holy crap. And it was counting down second by second. <laughs> life clock. A device capable of reading and displaying one's own lifespan. Ordinarily, I wouldn't put any stock in the accuracy of such a ridiculous sounding contraption. But this was Ms. Kuon we were talking about. Thinking back to everything she'd accomplished. Thinking back to everything she'd accomplished. I can't speak. <laughs> thinking back to everything she accomplished in the short time we knew her. And all the technology she devised through PL. I couldn't help but believe every word she said. No matter how preposterous those words may have been. Nor how much I wish them to be fabrications. Wow. Remember the hot spring, that's what Satoshi was noticing. We noticed she was skinny as hell. Mm-hmm. Miss Kuon smiled and slowly walked over to the pillar. She had the other baby tooth from Sachi in her hand. Please do it. みんな。元気でね。やだ。by Miss Kuon. I screamed and I cried. I lashed out. This wasn't right. This shouldn't have been the end for her. Nakashima-san, <laughs> Shinuma-kun was shortest, though. Chanto, get a cotton. 
山崎先生に話してあるからねああやだもう二人とも泣かないで男の子でしょ早くもう時間がないわ柱も私も Did the clock truly start in the hot springs or did she just become aware of it? It probably started. Because I remember it catching her attention pretty, like, significantly. Oh, I think I get it. I think I get it. What? Are you, are you familiar with, uh, like, kind of like timelines? Time? Well, kind of. Like, kind of. Kind of like how like events can change just depending on a simple yes or no. Yeah. I think she knew the second when、uh, Satoshi said no, she knew that this was going to be how she ended it. There could have been another timeline for her. And she checked the watch to see. I. That's an interesting theory. But I think it might be something a bit simpler than that. Hmm. Perhaps maybe just like. I don't know. I feel like it's more something along the lines of like. The rejection triggered the countdown. Because she had spiritual connection, right? Yeah. That clock well, has to be something spirit oriented. Well, she. Her spiritual thing is more kind of. I think she kind of developed it, I think. I think it was moving, then paused some time, then moved again when Satoshi rejected her. She, uh, Def Lolly did talk about how she gave her life energy for the, for the technology that was demanded for her,、uh, company. I think Nine Nine has a point, though. Like, an interesting point. She did say the hot springs can rejuvenate the, the body and soul. So maybe the hot springs gave her some extra time? Maybe it paused her、uh, aging. No, because she was still in the hot spring when the clock resumed. Yeah. I think、hmm. it has something to do with the fact that Satoshi rejected her, that her spirit started to weaken more, and the clock started up. I think when、uh, Satoshi rejected her, I think that's when she realized that her spirit. It, the, the time, I do agree. I think that might be it. I think I, it's like. I don't think it's, as, I don't think it's as advanced as timelines. But I think it knew she, was, she knew she was going to die if she got rejected. Let, let's carry on for now. Oh, a a c o What? What, what her about her? parents, it? like her parents, remember she, she was 11, created a best selling book. Her parents left her. With the royalties from that money,、uh, from, the, from the book. a i k o never、world. accepted her. She couldn't accept another rejection. Oh. That, that makes the most sense. Oh. oh, that's sad. Oh my God. She gives everything to everyone. It's not her fault that she is like, smart enough to make a book at the age of 11. It's not her fault that she was overbearing. She was trying to help her sister. And in return, it pushed. It caused her to push away. She does all these things for, the, for a world that does not care about her. And that final rejection from Satoshi was enough to set off this timer for her demise, where she's about to like, take the full blunt of something and die in a nirvana that don't, doesn't even know she existed. That makes sense. I mean, I can't blame. We can't pin all the blame on Satoshi and Aiko. I mean, no, remember, she, she had a level of arrogance to her, which probably helped push Psycho away. Yeah. Let's just carry on for the time being. Still in Satoshi's back, as he descended the stairs, I screamed, There had to be another way. There had to be. Magari was the only one left who hadn't said anything yet. <laughs> マルトバは心霊医療から手を引く、hmm. 約束
してね愛子は私が守ってあげるわお、wow. And with that, Magari followed us down the stairs, away from the pillar. Once Miss Kuon had confirmed we were all out of range, she pressed her hand and Sachi's tooth upon the monolith. <laughs> she suddenly began to breathe heavier, as if she were running out of air. Her ears were physically catching up to her. All at once, she began to feel as old as her body appeared. She looked down at her watch. There were only 20 seconds left. With nothing left to hold them back, the tears began to stream down Miss Kuon's face. The counter was down to ten. Miss Kuon's arm began to fuse with the pillar, as if she were being pulled in. So, oh my dear. The upper portion of the bell tower lit up with a blinding flash and exploded with tremendous force. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the entire school shook harder than ever. Each of us was blown clean off the stairs and knocked unconscious in the process. A piece of heavenly host blew out, leaving an enormous crater in its wake. A dimension of empty expanse bright and white, a world without a single sound. There I stood dumbfounded. I couldn't speak. Where am I? Is what I wanted to say. Oh! Hmm. We were right. I basically found out how you survive in the course part of the universe. How? Don't become a teacher. <laughs> God. They have a hundred percent mortality weight, right? To the me that isn't me that isn't me. There, there's three. There's three tiers of teachers now. Sensei! 
And where in the hell are we now? My face was coated in tears and snot. I stood up, arms outstretched, but there was nothing I could do. She was gone. Oh, great. We're still here. Yep. I'm trying to check over something in the walkthrough. Do you think Eiko is going to find out? Well, obviously she has to. Oh, God. Ugh, oh, the teeth are creepy. Ugh. Okay. Oh, there's a um, skull, though. We could probably get the tag there. Can we? Yeah, probably. Decapitated while peering out into the hallway. Okay, Oof. let me, uh... Let me find out... Where the hell was I on the walkthrough? Um... Where the hell was I? Oh God. Maybe in here? I genuinely have no idea. I have no idea what I'm doing at this point. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, Sans. Oh, hi, there's a oh, face. Oh, hey, face. Heart stopped from lightning strike. Okay. In the grand scheme of things, that doesn't seem like the worst way to go. Okay, there's a glass ball. Hmm. Wait. Apparently there's... I need to check this thing. Hmm. Where to go? Can I have a save point? Or well, there's a. S oh, hey, blood. Yeah, never mind. You know, I'm gonna go back in there and save real fast. Okay. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing at this point. I wonder if Miss Kuon is still on the. Yeah, she is. I just realized she also sacrificed herself for her students. That's true. Where the fuck? Okay. Head east until you... Okay, now I know where I am. Sweet. Uh... Oh, there's a candle? Okay, so apparently there's something. Uh, I'm gonna save before trying anything. Oh my god, this is disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty grotesque. In here? Okay, place the loose board at the gap, then... Do I not need to do what's in here? Oh, that was that was almost glass. This is probably a waste of time. Yeah, probably there, there's another classroom on the other side of that board. Here. Whoa. I'm going to make sure I saved. I 
it's crazy in there. If we got uh, your objective here is to dodge three monsters while navigating a crystal maze. Oh, fuck off. I cannot see where to go. Oh, fuck your mother. Oh, sweet. Hi. This kind of look, reminds me of like Donkey Kong Country, you know, that ice cave level. Bye. Oh, there we go. Holy shit. And they disappeared. <sighs> okay. Uh, what do I do here? Um, you know, I'm going to be right back. Okay. Total of seven name tags here to retrieve. Okay, why not? I'll, I'll grab them. Oh, God. Oh, are these the people from... I think these are the people from Oz's school. Or the... Stuff, you know. Uh, died swiftly. Oh, yeah, these are all... These all have the same uniform as, uh... Marta's tomb research. Secured. Died swiftly, but of an unknown cause. Body was skewered. Skewered. Post mortem. Come on, Ayumi. Don't die on us now. Alright, I guess we're waiting for Zeke. Alright, I am back. Welcome back. Alright. Looks like we're nearing the end. Oh, really? By the way, there are a bunch of uh, Illuminati people skewered uh, in this oh. room. Oh, there. All right, so that's where they all ended up. There was a the single white door in the back of the crystal-filled room along with an enormous red stranding cross. Yeah, those. The walls were lined with crucified corpses of what looked like the Martuba's investigation team sent before us. The Book of Shadows spoke once again. Let's take on this core, dude. Uh, there's a maze of monsters right behind us. Fuck no. Aiko was at a loss for words. I draped my head and apologized for the sudden outburst. I didn't... I had intended to be looking out for Aiko, manufacturing an excuse to keep her out of harm's way, but that came across harshly. It worked, however. Aiko hung back and I stepped through the door on my own. I'm going to use the bathroom real fast before we go on, because this could take a while. Oh, right? I think we're going to be I've doing a lot right of cutscenes. All right, everyone, place your bets. What do you think is going to happen? <laughs> Shadow just donated two ice creams. I have to make sure to let uh, C. Jax know about that. Oh, my Friday is doing just fine. Well, it's technically kind of my Sunday, because I got work tomorrow, but... What can you do? What can you do? Jalware with an ice cream. A Link Tune with five lemons? It looks like five lemons. 
Pigmaster with one lemon as well. All right, that was kind of a freaky trip to the bathroom. I thought my roommate uh -oh. was still around, but all the lights were turned off. Oh no. <laughs> there, there's a bunch of donations that came in while a you were- A bunch of donations? Okay. Yep. Shadow with two ice creams. Okay. Gelware well, with an ice cream. Link with Link lemons. Tunes. Pigmaster Five Frenzy. Lemons. Holy water. Oh, thank you, all of you. Thank you for getting this out now and not distracting us while what happens next. Oh, hi. Shadow with a final ice cream. Inside was another realm entirely. One in which heaven and earth alike sat in ruins. The sky was twisted, was a twisted coil of red and black, and the ground, or what was left of it, was little more than a black mass. The floorboards from the school stretched before me, covering at a shiny staircase leading up into the unknown. High above all else loomed a conspicuous, uh, yeah, conspicuous object shining brightest of all. This is the abyss. The true yeah, yeah. abyss. And it's angry we pissed in it. For so many, uh, for so long, it's mad at us. <laughs> <laughs> we got, finally, we got character development of the abyss. Oh, God. <laughs> Now this meme could truly die. Thank God. For a second there, I thought there was two Yukas. I'm like, oh great, they're multiplying now. God. <laughs> I'd, un no. I'd uninstall the game at that point. <laughs> <laughs> Another mass of on the of floorboards below me were Kashinama, Moshida, Nakashima, and Magari. Yuka and Satsuki were there too, though they were both clearly unconscious. I cracked a slight smile at Mochita's panicked reaction. Look, guys, we don't have time to argue. We gotta get our ass right. up those. Ayumi's gotta get her ass up those stairs. My mind was made up. I was going to do this no matter what. I took my first step up the staircase. Mikashima addressed me with much effort with as much effort as she still seemed to be in tremendous pain. It was admittedly some comfort to receive so much support from my friends. Any guesses what the core is? Oh wow, the stay the stairs faded away behind me quite literally, each one vanishing as soon as I stepped off it, actively rejecting the notion that anyone but the bearer of the book could be here. I continued climbing up until I hit the top, which left me right at the foot of the shining object in the sky. Okay, careful. Uh, you can fly. Time to fly. The last steps disappeared, leaving me floating in midair. I clasped my arms around the book. Sure thing, my son. <laughs> <laughs> I tucked the book under my arm and stared and started leveling myself out. Almost immediately, my, my vision began to blur. It looked like the world around me was melting. It took me a moment to realize that it was actually motion bl motion blur due to the extreme rate of speed which I was flying. The shining object was getting closer and closer. It's a person! Oh, who is it? I, uh... Is it Yoshie? Is it uh, the, the father? 
No. That's not Yoshie. Could be father of Sachiko and Sachi. No. Look, that is, that's a woman. Mm. Who is it? Huh? Huh? What hurt her? The following events... The following events all happened in rapid succession. The runic letters on my thighs from the blowback at Yoshie Shinosuke's estate began glowing red and spurting blood. Huh? As I was observing and confirming this, four small blue lights were drawn to me like moths to, to a flame. Once they got within arm's length, they stopped moving and just hovered. For their spirits. I had a feeling I already knew the answer. These four lights That's were- That's her friends. I was just about to say that. These four lights were giving off a gentle, caring, friendly glow. They were the purest, strongest lights I'd ever encountered. I felt more assured than ever just by looking at them. In my mind, I could understand them. Without the need for words, their aura was inviting, was as inviting as could be. I began to cry. No time to cry. This was no time to <laughs> lament or mourn though. The runic letters on my arms were now, now began glowing red and spurting blood, just as the ones on my thighs had a moment before. Book of Shadows spoke again. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, okay. The walkthrough had like uh the walkthrough actually has an image of how to fight this thing. Uh, when the Nirvana addresses you in the Firth Arc, you must answer by pressing the quick time buttons to use Firth Arc lettering of your own as indicated. Okay, um... Should be this one. Okay, it worked. That's super effective. CMM. So how are you supposed to read this? It's, well, I don't think I would be able to if it weren't for the walkthrough. I think that's the top one? Nope. There's that's actually the an image one? that tells me the codes to use. How many times do I have to do this? Oh. Oh. I did it. That would ne that would like literally never have worked <laughs> if I was doing that myself. I have a feeling we probably missed something since we were following the walkthrough. But well, it's like it's weird. let's see. Uh, each of you can take five hits before you outright fail. So yeah, it's it was five times. There's no way to like be able to tell which one it is. You li it literally is just a guessing game. You'd have to repeat this until, you know, you got it right. At least oh, that's wow. what it that's what it strikes me as. I hope I'm wrong. Okay, let's see. Okay. I awoke to a white expanse stretched out before me, and I realized I was still in midair. It almost seemed like I was above the clouds, looking down on the world below. Finally, the light from the Book of Shadows faded, its power spent. You're telling me we drained it again? I immediately lost my balance and fell through the sea of clouds, landing with a thump. Whoa. 
Whoa. Who are you? Before me, I saw a young blonde girl sitting in the nude. The entire area was so blindingly bright, though, that I couldn't make out who she was. The clouds clung to the ground even here, giving my surrounding their unearthly glow, pure white, as this were the aftermath of a blizzard. Her fingers are bleeding. Yeah. This is the this is the person we just fought. Yes. I'm so, trying to figure out who this is. She's the core. I can make out new details the longer I focused, and now I notice the girl before me had almost translucent blue eyes with no eyebrows. She was gazing fixedly at me. I could only think of this being as someone who existed beyond all human knowledge. I addressed her with a fearful break in my voice, but she just continued staring at me in total silence. I raised the Book of Shadows, but the girl's expression did not change. I think she's speaking Latin. Mm hmm Hold on a sec. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna see if like I'm gonna pop this into Google Translate, see what we get. Popper Vos Interdre protest. This is definitely Latin. Uh Paul Pierre Vos It's Latin, but I'm not getting an accurate translation from Google Translate, as one would expect. What but is I it think, saying? I think it's... Oh, I think she's asking if she can or can't understand. She's asking Ayumi if she can and can't understand her. I think. I could be wrong. Uh, poor. You cannot understand. Or maybe she's like, a poor you. You can't understand. The girl spoke, but I could not understand what she was saying. Latin. Let's try this one. Okay. I think she's talking Since about fire. Since in the flame of hell. Hang on a sec. Wow. Since cooperate in the flame of hell. I have no idea what that could mean. Quip in trail in flama in fedels. Cooperate. Hmm. Remember how uh, Death Lolly was saying everyone else was a peasant if they didn't know uh, magic? Or uh, were, weren't spiritually inclined? I think I remember that. Maybe instead of like, poor you, it was more like an insult. Like, oh, you're poor. You can't understand me, you peasant. That's my guess. That's my interpretation. This is hard to say. Latin is a, Latin is a difficult language to translate. So yep. there's really I only a... so much we can get out of this. Yeah, I got Google Translate open as well. So they I'm giving my own thoughts. We can at least try and piece something together. And all his intestines were impaled. Who's he? Uh... uh Ma'am, put on some clothes. The girl stood and began approaching me. Look at those eyes, though. I tried to take a step back, but tripped and fell. This is when I first noticed my surroundings. The clouds had receded a bit, revealing no snow broth, but a thick forest of half-dead trees. The girl approached me slowly, one step at a time, in an almost rhythmic manner. Mm. 
Her mouth opened wide. Whoa! Oh! Whoa. Got the Yoji Kazu treatment. A l and a large branch popped out from the back of her throat. Suddenly, she was crucified directly in front of me. Blood spattered everywhere. I was completely drenched. Time to suck her up! Time to Luigi's Mansion her! And just go home! I tried- I screamed and tried to move back, but my legs had given out. Meanwhile, the Book of Shadows lay on the ground. It was the farthest thing from my mind at the moment. <laughs> then from behind the skewered girl. Whoa. I caught sight of another girl who looked just like her. Her flaming body hanging from a tree swung very slightly in place, creaking and groaning with each revolution. Or revulsion, my bad. Oh, oh. oh. These are the witches. These are these are the witch hunts. Yeah, these are the victim the witches that got caught. I could hear Acosta yells in the same foreign language coming from hysterical men and women in the forest. I know what she was talking about then. Holy oh shit! Oh god! What was she talking about? The internal, uh, internal flames and, uh, to be in the intestines of he. I think that was Lucifer. You think? Yeah, I think she was making the pack. The pack. Oh, she's speaking French? She's taught. She's speaking li uh, Latin. That's at least what Google yeah, Translate it's... was saying. But at the same time, they were saying the Book of uh, Shadows was found in France. France. You're right. So it could be a little combination of both. It's just it's easy to confuse these languages because the Romance languages all have a lot of similarities between them. That's probably why yeah. Google Translate gave us something. Fran uh, French is based on Latin. So so are bits of English. Yeah, but uh, English is more connected to German. It's a Germanic language. Well, German. I know. This, I believe my, German is uh, also a Romance language. Kind of, kind of, sort of. My uh, my sister told me all about this because uh, she's taking these type of uh, like language classes. I shifted my focus from the burning hanging girl on the trees back to the girl in front of me, and she was, and she too was now completely burned. <laughs> She continued walking towards me little by little, step by s step by painful, deliberate step. And when she finally reached me, she put her hands around my neck and began to choke me. <laughs> Thinking quickly, however, I grabbed the girl's arms and pulled her in and gave her the biggest hug I could muster. <laughs> The burned girl stopped moving entirely. I guess I'd gotten her attention. Sachiko? That's why Sachiko pretty much controlled this Nirvana, because she was just like these witches. Life taken short, but no one understood them. My eyes began to overflow with tears. I loosened my grip slightly, and the burned girl began to stroke my cheek delicately yet strangely. <laughs> She continued to stroke my cheek, but then also raised her other hand to my eye, stuck out her finger, and jammed right into my eye socket. Ew. What's with this game and taking people's eyes? I don't know. Pain shot through me in one incredible wave. Oh. 
From somewhere deep within my head, I could hear the sound of a foreign body digging around my muscle tissue. Her finger had directly cut my... Alphomic... Alphomic... I think it's uh, Alphomic... I'm guessing it's Alphomic Nerve. Yeah, uh... Hmm. It's like your uh, top portion of your head going from uh, nose to the back of your skull. Yikes. Oh, I think Shadow might have found the translations. The poor. Can you understand me? Was there someone to keep me company in these eternal flames? Interesting. Between the intense agony and the deeply disturbing sound, I felt like I was on the verge of insanity. found the rest of it. Have you had your organs impaled? I'm lonely. Interesting. Oh, so she was like... I think she was like venting to Ayumi in a way. It's like, have you had all your organs impaled? Like something mm -hmm. like that. That could be what was happening. This Nirvana is a place of just absolute pain and despair. That decided... I allowed my body to give into the convulsions that had begun racking it. I was trying not to consciously focus on the pain, instead focusing on the girl. I felt as if I were mere moments from choking my own tongue when the girl's finger finally dug my right eye out of its socket completely. Oh my oh, god. The sound. Words could not describe the extreme pain. I cramped up completely and began shivering. The girl then put the sticky, bloody eyeball in her palm, displaying it triumphantly in view of my other eye for a moment before squeezing it with every ounce of strength she had. Oh my god! It still had some elasticity to it, so it expanded in her hand until its length had roughly doubled but it could only take so much, eventually exploding into a milky white and red goo. Oh my god, please stop. Yet I still refused to show signs of intimidation. I did not react. I waited until the girl's eyes met mine, then flashed her a soft smile. She looked genuinely puzzled. And then she threw herself at me, and our lips met. I know I'm what's lonely. not going to be a... She's told her I'm lonely. Interesting. I hugged her once more in spite of my trembling arms. You know, sometimes I feel lonely too, but I don't, like, pluck someone's eyeball out. A huge shockwave shook through the air, transforming into light and shattering around me. <gasps> I could hear Kishinima and the others yelling out in shock, having witnessed everything from the bottom of the stairs. Aiko was there, too. When the lights settled, I was standing at the top of those mystic red stairs, which had now reformed and stretched down below me to the remnants of Heavenly Host. Wow. I held my gourd out right eye socket in my right hand and the Book of Shadows in my left. Can I comment how much of a badass she looks in that CG? That might have to be the thumbnail. That's the thumbnail. All right. I slowly, solemnly descended those stairs of light. Although I do like Sachi on the back of uh, Satoshi, but I think that's better. She still has both eyes in this photo. What the <laughs> they fuck? Did, they did give them... 
Are you kidding they me? Couldn't, they couldn't at least give her an eye patch. These I These eyes that. are literally textured on. You couldn't close one? God. Oh my God. Shinozaki! Omae buji datta no ka! Uh, no, 99, she did not lose any of the four spirits around her. I made sure of that. Oh, your friends would, like, take the shot for you instead? So they would, like, perish. Oh, wow. So we saved them, though. At least saved their spirit. So you would, like, pr probably to get the best ending, you'd have to do this over and over and over again until you memorize which letters collide with which. Yep. That is the most artificial extension of gameplay I've ever heard in my life. I have a feeling somewhere in here, it was, like, some kind of hint with the uh, translations. I doubt it. <laughs> So the spirit moved on. Yeah. So the Nirvana's core is gone. Yeah. The Book of Shadows held in my hand had a white sheen to it now. I gave a weak smile and slowly formu formulated in my mind the exact words I wanted to say. I don't think there is another game, Evergreen. This is the last one. You know, actually, like, you remember when uh, I quote tweeted that uh, that tweet from the guys who made the Corpse Party games, and it looked yeah. like they were giving a new game? Mm -hmm. Well, I recently found out there was actually a whole... There were, like, four other Corpse Party games that were never released in America. Never released oh, outside wow. of Japan. And they were apparently, like, alternate universe type things from the first game like one of them apparently was like was a world where uh only ayumi satoshi and naomi survived hmm. that's what i got from it for the little i looked at it they could be releasing those games here we'll have to play them obviously if that's the case but i genuinely have no idea what they're planning We just have, like, some extra chapters to check out. But other than that, we're done after this of Corpse Party, right? That's For true. For the time being. Kishinima seemed especially protruded by this resolution. He must have thought I was on the verge of sacrificing myself for the greater good or something. And rightly so. What? But the section of the floor where I stood was up too high for Kishinima or any of the others to reach me. They couldn't stop me. Not anymore. Shinozaki. Are you kidding me? Whoa. Sachiko no yoni. Sorete. Masaka. Ayumi Sachiko had significantly more spiritual energy than you. This could backfire really easily. Yeah, but she has the Book of Shadow to uh, harsh and like kind of lessen the blow. I don't think that's how this is going to work. If she, if that, why wouldn't she just put the Nirvana back into the book? Can that just not be done? I'd been too embarrassed to look at my friends in the eye while informing them of this, but I knew I had to now. It was my last chance. I looked up at them, cheeks a little red. Okay. 
I giggled as I playfully as playfully as I could. <gasps> She's gonna be the new red dress, Shadow. Kishinima's downright hysterical. But I still kept the same bright smile on my face. I wouldn't let go of it, no matter what. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Perhaps that alone is worth fighting for. There's been so many people that have perished in this place. Mm -hmm. To set them free would be far she's more than... Yeah, she's sacrificing not only for, like, the world, but for her friends. This is literally the ultimate sacrifice of a hero. Yeah. She always wanted to bring back them. My face. My facade had finally cracked. A single tear rolled down my cheek and then another, then another. With impeccable timing, the Book of Shadows spoke, striking me while I was down. What? Just like he said. She'll have to sacrifice herself just like her sister sacrificed. She's paying the price of her ancestors. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. Wow. To make a choice like that. For a split second, I let my true feelings show, but then immediately forced to smile again. お前全然分かってねえ。やめるんだ、死ぬ先。他に方法はないのか。そうだよ、委員長。私はもう誰にも死んでほしくないし、消えてほしくない。お願いだからやめて。邪術は常に対価を必要とする。でもそんな未来私
人がやらなきゃいけないことなの私やるわ涅槃の脅威は残しながらも見守ってゆく道もあるいいのか問題を先送りして次の世代に不幸を回すなんてダメどうでしょう That's what the, the family line has been doing for generation to generation. Pushing all responsibility onto the next. Not a but skio. And then for the next to do the same to the fathering. The, the next and the next. Tada no ningen no omae ni. Kono fukure agatta nehan o torikomu koto ga dekiru ka na. I shaved a piece of flesh from the wall of the- Oh my god, she literally meant swallow it. Yeah. She's about to eat the flesh. She's eating the flesh wall. That's disgusting. The book of shadows is like, Yo, I didn't mean to actually eat it. <laughs> it's, it's a figure of speech. Girl, stop it. <laughs> Without thinking too hard about what I was doing and ignoring every impulse in my body, I shoved the- Faded meat into my mouth, chewed it and gulped it down. Oh my god, I might actually get sick. The book of shadows like, can you stop it? I was just talking figuratively. <laughs> my face warped in horror as I felt the morsel slide its way down my throat. I might as well have swallowed fire. <laughs> oh! Somehow... It, this somehow triggered my back to pop open slightly and began splurting blood. Oh. The bits of flesh I was unable to stomach were then quickly and rather ungracefully regurgitated onto the floor. I then picked up the flesh that I had spit out and tried to cram it back into my mouth. I was determined to keep it down. It would have been a lot easier if it hadn't been glaring at me from my hands, however. Like I had an eye. I turned to face Kishinima, who was practically begging me not to go through with this. And it's not like I wanted to. I just had to. I smiled. This sentiment was truly heartwarming. We thought you didn't. Shinema's eyes swelled up with tears. Wow. I smiled again, even while tears were streaming down my face. Oh god, don't eat more- oh god! She's eating more of it. This time, after swallowing the wall meat, the wall meat, blood began spurting from my head. Yet finally my actions seemed to be having an effect, as the wall in front of me began to fizzle away into a blood-red mist, ultimately vanishing before my eyes. Kishinima <laughs> collapsed to his knees. Another shockwave rocked the whole dimension. It was so enormous that the ceiling fell in, and the nearby wall began to crack. Whatever rickety parts of the school were left began crumbling around us. 
巻き込まれる立ちなさいあの子を犬死にさせたいのどの道この亀裂では止めに行くのは無理だろう You jumped a fence earlier. I'm pretty sure you could easily jump up there. <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> you don't have a choice, Satoshi. Please just stay unconscious. I don't want to listen to you. <laughs> God damn it. She's awake. So she had to pee. <laughs> <sighs> oh, yeah, that's right. She thought Satoshi was dead. Yeah. She thought both of them were dead. <laughs> ねえ、半ごとあの子に食われたいの放ってくわよ。よしき。行こう。Oh, okay. Time to run. Before he left the area, Kishinima looked back one last time. But I was out of sight by that point. <laughs> Girls just want to have love. We carefully but swiftly made our way through the rubble of the former bell tower. Along the way, Yoshiki paused for a moment to look up at the stairs, and he caught a glimpse of Mitsuo's clothes. <laughs> I love hmm. So he died too, huh? It was only a moment's distraction, however. Yoshiki, like the rest of us, very quickly continued on his way. I'm calling it right now. Yoshiki's about to turn around for her. How much you want to bet that's going to happen? I don't think he will. Want to bet? Uh, no. But I don't think he's going to do that. All right. All right, Yuka died. Yuka's not dead. We can't hope. Where's Satsuki? Too easy. Where? Yeah, where is her? Where oh, is wait, she? wait. Magari probably took her. Oh, yeah, that's right. Magari's not here. Oh, looks like Shadow and Sonic Mario also think he's going to do it. Yeah, I don't think he's going to do it. Yoshiki got up to follow, but instead just stood there. He wouldn't take a single step. Naomi, still on my back, saw Yoshiki motionless, motionless form, and knew something wasn't quite right. He seemed to be caught in a loop of doubt. He was trying to work through something in his head and didn't seem ready to move again until he succeeded. Yoshiki! What are you doing? Do it fast! He's saying it now! He's in the middle of He did it! He turned oh back gosh. for her! Yeah. <laughs> I knew it! I know this character! <laughs> he turned back towards the ruins of Heavenly Hosts and ran off. But that's not prob- and run off? Oh, he turned back and run off. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, he- there's no- there's no turning yeah. back! And just like that, he was gone. Fallen rubble blocking us off from the passageway he darted into. There's no time, Satoshi. Yoshiki's gone. (gasps) 
I can't imagine... Ki Yo I mean, Ayumi was the whole reason mm -hmm. uh, Yoshiki, like, turned his life into a better direction, so... Right. Try as we might, there was no pursuing him. He'd made his choice, and there was nothing we could do to change things now. The school began to shake even more violently. Not only was it shaking, but creaking and groaning as well. The school was definitely not going to stay intact for much longer at all. The red and black sky began to get sucked into heavenly hosts, like smoke into an exhaust vent, with the beautiful, clear night scenery of the real world peeking out from behind it. Hey, I got an achievement. Hooray! I think it's probably the achievement you get when you don't get hit once in the boss fight. Oh, that makes sense. And slowly the blue sky of day crept into view, ousting both the moon and the horrors of the nirvana alike. The six pillars disappeared from the earth, leaving only giant craters in their wake. Yeah, I can see the crater actually. It's behind the yep. text box. Mm-hmm. Now I wish I still wish we can remove. Yeah, wouldn't that have been nice? The rising sun shone upon the death-ridden world, serving as a beacon of light and hope for the people who suffered beneath what could have been, and for a time, was an endless night. Oh. They're back! Mm -hmm. The former existence of your sadly departed friends has been restored to this reality. They're not back, but their well, memories are No, I, I said that wrong. Their, oh, mm. their souls have been released from the Nirvana. Yep. Everyone that had died in that Nirvana is has now been remembered. freed. Mm -hmm. So now they can actually All move on. Except for one. One soul for many. Ayumi went to, like, the Costco of the Soul Stone. Let's just be real here. What? Yoshiki and Ayumi just disappeared! Yeah. Oh. Wow. Oh. The only two people actually truly left in this photo are Naomi and Satoshi. Yeah. Hi. Do you believe me now, now mom? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm glad I'm glad her mom was like cuz remember last time we saw her mom she pulled a knife on her. Yeah. The next photo of the, her classmates, another photo stood on her desk taken at Mochita's house. <laughs> It's good to see Kuon wasn't erased. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna 
skip through that because it's obviously going to be copyrighted music. PC right. and Switch develop code, code glue. You guys did an awful job. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, funny enough, you know the last one when the like kind of like that uh credit scene kind of did with the music. Yeah. That never got uh struck. Seriously? Yeah, it I still has yet to be uh, struck. Uh, if it turns out I could have played this. This sucks. No, I think I can't tell because... which music is copyrighted and which ones isn't. No, I think it was the same as the previous one, but because of the fact it was uh there for so short of a time and also because we were talking over it, it probably didn't catch. I love it when the YouTube system doesn't detect copyright music. Right? Wow. <sighs> what an end. That's, uh... That was something. Pretty I believe punch. there... I, I think there should be an after credit scene, though. Oh! As I sat in my own house in Hinoa's room. In the corner, in a wheelchair, expressionless and empty. With the book of shadows on my lap. Oh no. Absorbing that Nirmana destroyed her. Mm hmm. There was no fire in my eyes, no life. I just sat and stared at a single point in front of me. The reflection staring back from the mirror wasn't me. What? Huh? It was Sachi, the girl in black. Sachi's eyes were covered by her bangs. Her expression was impossible to read. She was unmoving, unreadable, untenta untenable. Just a reflection. A reflection of me. The book of shadows in my hand darted its eyes around frantically, and its tongue dangly, limply outside the frame of the tome itself. The house sat in silence for a moment. And then the doorbell rang again. The reflection in the mirror was no longer Sachi. It was just Ayumi. Just me. Despite everything. It's still just me. The Book of Shadows reverted to showing itself once more as a plain, ordinary, entirely standard, leather-bound book. The blue-white stones were tossed up into the air where they danced a bit before tumbling back down. Blue-white stone? Wait. I could easily catch them with one hand. Yoshiki! What? They lived! They both live! Huh? I looked up at the white house in front of me and smiled a toothy grin. I held onto these stones tightly. He has new Ever After stones? For they were my precious Ever After stones! He found new ones? Yeah, <laughs> We gotta read those. Mm hmm. Extra chapters. Extra chapter seven unlocks. I got three achievements. Wow. Reconciliation, conclusion, and something else that disappeared before I could read it. How many, how many extra chapters do we have? Okay, we have Seven. one. 
Is that all of them? Yeah, that's all. We have chapters. all the extra chapters. We've already done three of them, haven't we? No, we've we, done two. We, of only, them. we, all, we did one. Of, oh no, we did two of them. Yeah. That's okay. Right. All right. Next time, we're gonna have to do all these. Uh, apparently, that was a. Uh, uh... What? I I think w they're saying it's uh, Mi uh, Mitsuo's uh, dead body. Those were his stones. What? Really? So yeah, that's how he got back? That's how he got back. Oh. So Yoshiki, did he get Ayumi and break her out of there? I guess maybe uh, extra chapter seven will tell. Uh, tell. There's eight extra chapters. Oh fuck! Now I gotta find out how to unlock the eighth one. Hmm. Okay. Be next stream, doing all the extra chapters. I guess so. I'll have to. The eighth is unlocked after you finish seven. Okay. Makes sense. Next time, all the extra chapters. Jesus Christ. I have a feeling it's going to be a lot of good stuff. Like the previous two extra chapters were those were awesome. Yeah. Like the fact that uh, Mayo and uh, uh, Morshig finally said they love each other. That was good. That was awesome. I have a feeling these are going to be good. This is this is the finale. It's going to tie up all the loose ends. That did not tie up all loose ends. That made me think there's something more to this. I don't. Oh, I don't. Know. I hate this game. I hate this game. I really do hate this game. We gotta check out the extra chapters. It is poorly made. It has plot holes. It's it's it, it's hit detection is awful. This is not a good game, and its story is like so. This is so ridiculous when you really think about it. Yeah, I'm I'm still trying to figure out how it works if the Nirvana is being destroyed. Then how are the stones supposed to bring them out of a nirvana that doesn't exist? Do we actually are we actually about to get another game? Are we like is that was I right? Are we about to get another game in this what would now be uh What there's quadrility I what's between quadrility and hexology? I have no clue. What year was this game made? Two thousand. It was two thousand fourteen. It was ported, I think, two years ago. Maybe one year ago. I think no. It was definitely two years ago. It was ported two years ago to the PC and recently to the Switch. Hmm. Case closed. Well, this game sucks. I want to see the extra chapters. I do too. We already do uh, did. I think ex, uh, chapters one and two. I'll double check. Yeah, the weird uh, Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. And then introduction to the best character ever. Pentology. Thank you, Evergreen. We're about to get a friggin' Pentology on our hands when it should have just been one game. Yeah. I will agree with that. It should have been a game. Well, all right. Well, I guess that's that for now. Next week will most likely be the very last Corpse Party one for a while. Unless we get some news about that, you know, next game or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And I think by the time, not next week, but the week after, Zeke's probably going to convince me to play, what is it called? Phoenix, right? The Ace Attorney games. Which is also a trilogy that kind of goes back crap crazy, but kind of oh, in a good way. Oh, come on. Not another trilogy. We can always play the first game. And, uh, the first game, there's like four court cases in there. First two are kind of considered um, like trial. Uh, like How long like are these learning. games? I was able to complete them all in about 30 hours. Let me just double check, though. We're going to be playing that game until next year. I'm not even kidding. 30 hours. Let's just let's let's talk about this later. For now, let's just let's just let the people go. All right. I'm just I, OK. So if we're doing main story. 
average is about 59 hours. 59? 59 hours for all three of the trilogy. Oh, yeah, I don't think I want to play that. That is the average, uh, according to howlongtobeat.com. I don't think I want to play that now. <laughs> That's That honestly sounds like too much. If you say so. It's saying uh, main is uh, 53 hours. For all three uh, games. For all three games in the trilogy. They say average about 53 if I'm, I'm looking at the PC. So 53 hours is the main. The fastest has been done is 31 hours. The longest pulled was 112 hours. Oh my god. You realize okay. if we do that, we'll be playing Phoenix Wright for literally an entire year if we do this. So we probably, I don't know, we're going to have to... But we'll look into it. We'll, we'll figure something out. For now, guys, we're going to head out. Until next time. Peace.